tonight? What, what uh, did I thought, you see? I thought in the second half we did a lot better job just keeping the ball out of the paint. You know, they're so good at driving the ball into the paint. I think they had, I believe, 28 points in the paint in the first half, and I don't know what they ended up with, but we were 46. Yeah. 46, but we were a lot better. And um, I thought we did, you know, our defense in the second half was really good. Both of your point guards were in the paint most of the night. How, how big was that? And Briscoe probably his best game. Oh, by far his best game. But uh, you know he played both ways and he hit his jumper. Mm -hmm. You know they were blitzing the pick and roll and the ball got to him and he had room and you know he hit the two in the corner. Then he hit the spot of three and uh, but his de it was again it was his defense was very good. Well, how much of this is a continuation? You've really played well these last two weeks. I just told him that. Well, you did, I said the same thing as we've really put a good string of to me. Really, six, six, seven games together where, you know, there's things that we could do better, but we've played with the right, you know, better purpose, hang in games, you know, and, and it's been a tough schedule, you know, really going back to at Houston mm -hmm. where we gave ourselves a chance to win, um, both Oklahoma City games, you know, we we're playing better. What do you attribute this stretch to? Guys just kind of learning, learning everything? Oh, I don't know. I mean, um, you know, hopefully it's just, uh, you know, like all good teams do. Like, if you watch them, I mean, they have the best record, and they're still getting better, and that's what the good teams do. Hopefully that's what we're doing now. Look, early in the night, J.R. seemed to pass up two or three open threes. Did you say something to him? Because after that, he seemed to really shoot the ball with confidence. No. I mean, he made two big ones there in the third quarter, though, but I, I, didn't, I didn't say anything to him. Have you ever spoken with Isaiah about what his experience in Estonia is like and, and how uh, psyched up he is to be here in the NBA getting his chance? Yeah. Well, <laughs> terrible question. My well, point. no, I'm just saying, but I mean, I'm, I'm going to just say that I'm not, cut, like the stuff that I talk to them about, I'm not sharing with you guys. I mean, I, if you want to talk to him about Estonia, talk, no, no, I'm not being a smart ass, but I just don't feel like, the stuff I talked to them, I wouldn't talk to you guys about any of the stuff I talked to them about. That's, that to me is between he, me and them, you know. So if you want to talk to him about Estonia, he would tell you, I'm sure, some of the same things. Have you, when you studied film on him to try and get a sense of what his game was like heading into this season, did, did you go to his con Kentucky footage? Did you go to his summer league footage? Uh, I actually, you know, we had him in summer league, so I watched him more. You know, we had it, we, you know. He was in a free agent camp. I saw him there. Then all the practices. Then he was in working out. So I didn't watch any of the uh, any of his college or from last year. It's a tough back to back. How important is it to? We got to get out of here now and you know get there as quick as we can. And and uh, they play tonight too though. Right. So they don't have to travel. But still, at least they play. All right.